So now let me get into part one, and I'll be talking about applications of genomics to fingerprinting or clone identification. Uh, the work that I'm going to be talking about is published and can be read in much finer detail in this article on molecular breeding entitled A Genome-Enabled High-Throughput and Multiplexed Fingerprinting Platform for Strawberry. Uh, this was spearheaded by uh, Kevin and my student, uh, Dr. Alan Chambers. And the goal of this work was we wanted to develop a, a very quick but very reliable and high-throughput system for clone identification for purposes of IP protection, uh, but also for uh, uh, any uh, uses that we would have within the Strawberry program of making sure that we've correctly identified clones. Because again, we are a clonal uh, cultivar crop that's vegetatively propagated. Um, and so what we wanted to do was uh, to stack multiple primer pairs for SSR amplification into a single reaction and fragment analysis. And we used the Gregaria Vesca reference genome as a tool to help us do this. This uh, figure shows uh, 927 different SSR features that were identified in the reference genome. The y-axis shows the number of SSR loci identified in different categories represented along the x-axis. These these bars on the x-axis represent the repeat size. In other words, how many tandem repeats um, or the, re the repeat size of the SSR feature. So for instance, uh, a repeat of GCTT, GCTT would be have four base pairs in the repeat unit. And the colors in the bars represent the number of those tandem repeats that were found in the reference genome. So why is this information important? Well, uh, ideal candidates would have a, a large number of repeat units so that we could have a, a number of different polymorphic alleles identified. And also, we wanted the SSR features to be at least um, four base pairs or, or more. And the reason for that is that it reduces stutter bands in the fragment analysis. And it also just gives size separation in the fragment analysis to clarify allele calls. So we wanted it to be, this to be a very reproducible, repeatable, and uh, uh, clear allele calls while also uh, giving us a lot of information in one fragment mode. So what we did is we, we were looking for the best SSR features. Uh, we developed primary prayers that that amplified a number of them. Uh, we wanted them to produce lots of polymorphic data, but we wanted the allele range to be over a fairly small fragment size so that we could uh, stack them easily into a multiplexing platform. Ultimately, we came up with eight candidates on three different linkage groups that, that produced the highest quality data among a, an initial diverse set of um, octopoid strawberry genotypes, ones that produced a lot of alleles, up to eight different alleles at a given loci, again, as we're working in an octoploid. And then uh, what Alan did was to redesign the primers to target the amplicons of each primer set to distinct size ranges that didn't overlap so they could all be scored in one reaction. So we combined those eight primer pairs into a single PCR reaction and visualize them using a secondary labeling with a, a, a fluorophore. And at the end of the process, we compared the multiplex reactions to each primer pair run in single reactions to make sure that there was fidelity um, uh, across uh, the multiplexing platform. Here is an example of uh, uh, ABI output for the fragment analysis for uh, the festival cultivar um, in a single PCR reaction with this multiplexed set. And what you can see is patterns of alleles that are targeted to six different size ranges, for instance, 300 to 350 base pairs, 400 to 450, and so on. We fingerprinted over 200 different Fregaria accessions to test uh, this platform. And this is uh, 
basically a, a, a digitized representation of the results. On the left uh, column, we have uh, cultivated strawberry uh, parent one, uh, parent two, which is a cultivar called Radiance, and then one of the progeny. So we were able to compare a number of closely related individuals. Then we also have uh, two Fragaria chiloensis accessions, two Virginiana accessions, and a couple of diploid uh, Fragaria vesca accessions. So the exciting thing was that uh, this platform worked very well across a lot of diverse material. One of the things we also wanted to make sure is that it didn't work just in diverse material, but it also worked very well to distinguish closely related individuals. So here is a, tr a tree of uh, representing results where we took uh, some closely related parents within our most elite breeding material and some of the crosses among them. Uh, so basically we were able to look at full siblings, uncles, aunts, parents versus siblings, and we were able to clearly identify um, each of these individuals um, every time with this uh, uh, platform. So this, uh, we believe this platform um, has a number of applications. It certainly has in our breeding program and can for other breeding programs as well. So we've used it to sort out mix-ups in grower fields. Sometimes we have growers that, that order certain cultivars and they say, wait a minute, this doesn't look right, what is this? And we're able to help them out with that, both in growing fields in our own breeding nursery and in commercial nurseries. Uh, and in the uh, National Clonal Germplasm Repository, um, it has identified a number of some accessions that need to be looked at in terms of uh, they may not be the correct correctly labeled. Um, we can use them across highly related or diverse germplasm, across species, across fluidity levels. This um, platform works very, very well. So um, we definitely are, uh, can use it for IP protection. And um, we can use it for diversity analysis. And if you uh, care to look at that original publication, we do that um, for the over 200 Fregaria accessions that we have fingerprinted. So that uh, sums up part one. And let me move on to part two, which is application of genomics to candidate gene identification and marker development. So, this is the strategy where we where we look at candidate genes for certain traits.